the outside entrance to our basement. I will just show you how it looks like right now. Uh, looks like this. <laughs> that's a mess from the basement. And that's the outside space that we will change. And here is the completely new wall that we made on our house because it was very old wood. The rest of the house was finished, but this one wasn't. So we changed the whole wall and we're gonna paint it next year. Next year when it's gonna be warm because now the winter strikes us. Like I can show you, it's the end of the October and we already have snow. See? So many things we need to postpone. For example, building garage. That's gonna be for after winter. And uh, Terry, I can tell more about the whole project we are making because he knows better. That's his idea. So, hello! Can you tell what we are gonna do? Yes. Great. Uh, mostly we are doing it because to get the basement approved, we need a door that's going out as a approved escape route, and the door we have inside cannot go outside unless we take half the roof, half the room inside. So we're just gonna make a small building outside with a new door. And we'll make the angle as the same as the roof on top, so it looks more symmetrical. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We will show everything on the process. Yeah. We should snack because it's cold. Yes. And we hope for no rain. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we will take the 2x6 pressure treated material and we'll place it on top of the concrete in the side view on the slab here and up in the same form that we want the, the structure to be. So we have something to screw our material to. So we don't have to screw everything in the concrete because that's gonna you have to drill and then you have to screw and then you have to and it's pain in the ass and you, you use the biggest uh, expanding screws i could find so you put it into the concrete and it locks yeah and this is the wood that we will yeah so uh, yes. one by six fresh treated material Just try to not push it that much. Okay. A little bit more. <laughs> yeah. It's enough? Yeah, it's good. And then next. <laughs> and that bit is uh, quite hot. Yes. Now this one. So we are done with the first step. It took us much longer than we thought it will. My drills weren't working as properly. Yes. And now we now are gonna... We will make the frame. So okay. First for the door and then for the walls up. And then we kind of have to wait because I don't have enough pressure treated material and it's Sunday. Well, of course. Okay, but we will do what we can. Do what we can. Yes. Okay, let's do it. doing now we are continuing with the construction uh, I was cutting the wood in 33 degrees angle and on the machine you can control it here put it down set it on the angle you need and then you can cut from the side 
and uh, Terry is making measurements how long piece of wood should I make so now I'm gonna measure this and cut it in the correct length and this is how it looks right now as always we have 60 centimeters uh, between the pieces am I right? yes yes and we will need to cut two more here so the weather is awful, it's starting to be grey and windy and cold and I think I'm actually pretty sure it will rain so we will do as much as we can today and finish uh, another day that's how it looks let's see how is the progress of work that Teria made uh, we have to go outside but it's very dark so follow me the progress we have constructions for the roof yes. very nice looks good yeah looks a lot better than the, the 50 year old doors though so yeah really and also tomorrow is the halloween yes cooking with our ghosts now yes. mm. Mm. Ow. Mm. 